Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Let's see if anybody's uh, kind of drifting in here. Uh, you can probably, if you're here just for the books, you probably have a few minutes. I got to set up my simulcast over on YouTube. Good time to grab a drink, uh, whatever whatever it is you would like to do. Uh, let me know how it's looking. Let me know how it's sounding. I want to make sure everything's sounding and looking good. This is my second stream, everybody. So still a little new at this. Might have some uh, some rust that we still need to knock off. But we will get there. Uh, got uh, Nerd Tween in the house, Triple G619, B Price, uh, Faust. Welcome into the show, everybody. Hey, we got GT Key Comic in the house over on YouTube. I am simulcasting over on YouTube. Looks like it's working just fine. Um, I am going to try to see if I can get. Let's see. Can I get something up real fast? That's what she said. <laughs> um, we're going to do this real quick. In, in chat. Um, just going to get something up on the YouTube stream. Like I said, we'll be going here in a couple of minutes. Make sure that's up on the YouTube. Oh, not resizing for some reason. Oh, there we go. There's that delay on YouTube, so it's a little weird. So yeah, if you're if you're one of the people watching over on YouTube, I appreciate you dropping in and being here. I am streaming over on Drip. Drip is a selling platform that's a little bit like uh, some of the other stuff that's out there right now. Like we have eBay Live coming soon. We have whatnot out there. Uh, the difference about Drip is shipping is free up to ten dollars with shipping for your stream, and then the 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 seller pays the rest of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, over on the drip stream, do we have anybody that can confirm that audio and video is working good for you? Because if it is, then I can start running some books. We got five people watching over here on drip. Got, by the way, guys, if you want to make it drip, that would be awesome. We got up to, I think, 6,500 on my first one. We're going to do a little, uh, little air horn here just to kind of wake everybody up. It's going to be loud. That's what I've heard. So watch out. All right. How are we doing? <laughs> all right so uh we're gonna start running some books here pretty soon um probably with nobody really talking i'm not gonna start off with the the big big bangers but we'll get some books going uh let's see what's something i didn't have going last time i got going this time um let's run something new Uh, Rob Liefeld. Let's do some Rob Liefeld goodness here. This is from the <clears throat> the kind of Heroes Reborn era of Avengers. Avengers number seven with some Rob Liefeld art in the hizzy. Got to make sure to set my interval. That's one thing that's a little bit different the way you do it here. Uh, so we're going to start with one minute just because th this might go for a bit before while people are still streaming in here. Uh, Avengers number seven for three dollars. Rob Liefeld cover art there. Checking in with my YouTube peeps. Uh oh, just lost my chat uh, on Drip. How do I get that back without ending the show here? Well, that says quit. That can't be good. Even though it looks like a chat box. Oh, boy. That looks like a chat box. But it says quit when I have over, over, over it. That's not good. I'm going to hit it. This might go bad. Oh, it didn't go bad. Awesome. All right. All right. Got 10 seconds left on the Avengers auction. Like I said, this is new to me. Uh, some of the, uh, the old uh, hats at this have been around doing it for a while. 
I'm surprised nobody's saying anything in chat on Drip. But is that a mistake that I can't see any of your guys' comments? I would think that somebody would be saying something. I know Nerd Tween's in here, for example. He likes, he likes to say hi in chat. Uh, oh, we got Max City. <laughs> Thanks a lot, dude. I appreciate it. I appreciate it, man. Glad, glad people can hear me. I'm like all in here is like troubleshooting mode, like making sure stuff's actually working. <laughs> Um, because I know like I went on my live stream the other night and I OBS, the streaming software I use, did this big update and nobody could hear me for the first couple of minutes. I didn't realize I didn't have any audio. Um, yeah, I do no, for sure. For sure. Uh, do you have some bronze age stuff that we'll be bringing in here a little bit later, but I'm going to run some fun stuff that I didn't have last week. I'll also probably have some of that stuff up for as well. I'm going to Rose city comic con the next couple days and I'm going on vacation next week. So I just really wanted to get a stream in, but I don't have a ton of time. Uh, so you guys let me know what you want. Everything should be in the store uh, tab down below. Um, pretty much everything. I might add a couple things if people are really Jones and for something, but a, a lot of stuff's ready to go. This is Harley Quinn 19. Excellent, excellent Derek Chu cover. Uh, we're going to start this. I had it at $4. Let's start it at 3 bucks. Why not? 30 seconds on the clock. And here we go. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm trying to remember. So Igwa, Igwa Kajak, that's Sonia, correct? Am I right about that? I'm sorry if I have that wrong. The, the pre-made usernames are a little strange. Okay, cool. Hi, Sonia. How's it going tonight? And is it Sonia or Sonia? Uh, so that I would think that's Sonia, right? Because Sonia is S A N Y A, I believe. I just wanted to make sure I had that right. Because I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I'm going to feel like a jerk. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, oh, and did that even? Hopefully that one went. I was too busy checking chat and making sure I had everybody's name right. If you need me to run that again, just let me know. Uh, I am giving out free cards with every win tonight, by the way. It's one of those little things I do, just kind of make it a little bit more enticing. If, if some of you might have gotten your packages already from me on Drip, uh, I've been known to throw in freebies and whatnot uh, from time to time. So you, you might get some free books in there. Sometimes those are free comic book day. Sometimes those are dollar bin books. Sometimes they're things that's like, oh, they, I see you're buying this, this, and this. Maybe you'd appreciate this other thing. Um, let's go with this. I ran last week, but again, I'm not sure if, how many people were in here. I think it's a sick cover. Uh, got lighting a little bit better too this week, I hope. Uh, Iron Man 22, the stealth suit cover. $3 start on that one. 30 seconds on the clock. Checking in with YouTube. Uh, three viewers over there on YouTube. Yeah, it's kind of a pop-up stream. Yeah, he is absolutely great. Abs uh, I did not see... Uh, I see, uh, like, Max and City, I see bidding on this one. I didn't see you bidding on... Were you trying to bid on the Harley Quinn? Or were you trying to bid on this Iron Man 22, Sonia? All right. Max and City winning the Iron Man 22. Uh, Mac, uh, for cards, I have one basketball card. Um, I've got... Which is kind of a nicer one, I bet. I've got some football cards i've got uh marvel dc and star wars cards what kind of free card would you like uh you thought you you thought you purchased the again the harley quinn or the iron man i know you're mostly a marvel person so i'm guessing you mean the iron man okay sweet um did you buy it last week is that what you're saying or are you talking about the auction right now i'm sorry if i'm not understanding I, it's just making sure I, I have your uh, intentions correct there. All right, Max Sin City, you are going to get this Brood card from Marvel Series 4. These were the cards that connected together. I'll let you check out the uh, back of the card there. And again, that was a faction card, so there's no like power ratings. Last week, I, you know what, Sonia, I don't remember. Um, 
I packed up about um, probably about 20 packages last week, uh, not just from Drip, uh, but a lot of it was from Drip, um, you know, but from other places I sell too. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Um, did your package? I thought it, I thought everybody's was kind of arriving by today because Labor Day weekend kind of threw everything off. Um, if your package didn't arrive yet, I'm, I'm sorry. I can't recall. Max and City taking in that Iron Man book. Not a bad steal there. I think that thing's going for about twice that most of the time. So that's a good buy. Um, I'm going to show you guys, and we'll see what everybody's interested in. Um, this is some of the stuff I'm bringing to the show tonight. I'm just going to kind of highlight it real fast. People can call this stuff out if they want to, to bid on it. I want to see like you know what people are excited for. This is Avengers 260. This is a new stand. I do want to point that point that out. This is the origin and first cover appearance of Nebula. Origin and first cover appearance of Nebula. Um, so we have Guardians of the Galaxy 3 coming out, of course. That's that's kind of a good book to have. Um, I know the uh, the first appearance is going for quite a bit. This is starting to heat up a little bit. Uh, this is a little bit lower grade, but I do have a Defenders King Size Annual number one. Very awesome book from the Bronze Age there that I wanted to point out. I'm just kind of pointing out some of my older stuff I have tonight. Uh, this is the John Byrne Silver Surfer number one. Fantastic book. Not something I run across that often. Um, so I'm glad to bring that one here. Of course, I've had this for a while. We'll see if anybody's you know truly interested in it. It is a little bit more of an expensive book. Um, but I could start it a little bit cheaper. But this is Savage She-Hulk number one. This is pretty high grade. Um, so those are some of the books we have uh, brand new that are on the older vintage. Um and then here's some of the big keys I have tonight. You may have seen these in my preview. I want to give everybody a chance on these. If anybody wants to get out of the gates early on these, we can definitely run them. We have this Harley Quinn's uh, SDCC exclusive foil cover. Very hard to pick up just how gorgeous this thing is in real life, but it's excellent. I have this Grim Boom Studios Virgin. These go for a pretty penny. I have the Predator number one Raza Virgin limited to a thousand. Um, I also have this uh, X-Men Hellfire Gala number one. This is the Adam Hughes 1 in 50 variant. Uh, so if you're looking for ratios. Um, I had this last week, but I'll show it again. I do have this too. This is the first uh, Riri in red and gold armor. And Tony Stark AI names her Ironheart uh, or uses the name Ironheart. So that's a pretty important Riri key. Um, let's see. I know I had... Well, there I have some Star Wars that we're bringing to the show tonight. I reloaded on some Star Wars. Uh, this is, you know, people are always interested in this. I don't know if anybody wants to pick it up tonight. This is the La Muerta Lorian number one. This is limited to 100 copies. Uh, checking in over on YouTube. We got five people watching. Or if folks are watching on YouTube, you can join us over on the drip. If you use the link I provided in the chat, you get $15 credit towards your first $20 purchase. Uh, also bring in the first Hyperion uh, in his own series. Hyperion, a lot of hype around Squadron Supreme right now. Um, a lot of rumors about Henry Cavill, for example, and other, other actors that might play him. I'm not trying to hype up any FOMO, but that's what's going on with this stuff right now. This is the John Tyler Christopher variant. I believe we're going to run this one next year. I'll, I'll run this one, and uh, if anybody's interested in anything we talked about, you just let me know. I do have some Buy It Now slabs available as well. It's the same set I had last week. I was going to bring some more, but I actually sold some uh, somewhere else and, and didn't, uh, didn't really bring any over this time. So uh, same same sl uh, slate that we had last week. This is Hyperion number one, John Tyler Christopher variant. Uh, I think this is about near mint minus probably. Could be near mint plus, but the, the corners each have a little, little itty bitty tiny bump on them. Um, other than that, I think this is in pretty good shape. So we'll call it near mint minus. Uh, Hyperion number one, John Tyler Christopher action figure variant. Thirty seconds on the clock, start an auction, and I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> hey, buddy's in the house. What's up, buddy? Um, buddy, I I don't want to get too personal about anything, but I did I did have a conversation with some some staff at Drip. I know you had some issues last week. They all kind of recommended trying it again. Um, we might be able to get more activity. If you did try it again, if you did want to bid on something, I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, 
Uh, and then we'll, you know, if, if nothing works, we'll definitely try to get your issue figured out there. I want everybody that's, uh, you know, following me to be able to pick up stuff over here on Grip. All right, no bids on the Hyperion. Squadron Supreme Buzz coming around. But not for everybody tonight. We can move on to another book. Uh, this is a pretty hot book right now. Edge of Spider-Verse number two. I did run this last week, but give people a second shot on this. First, um, Spider-UK. First Spider UK, obviously cover appearance there as well, so not a bad book. And if anybody's interested in this, missed it at the uh, local comic shop, we'll get this going here. Did I call this Edge of Spider-Verse or did I call it? Spider I called it Spider-Verse. That's right, because titles have to be relatively short here. That's one thing I've noticed. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. We're running this Edge of Spider-Verse 2. I think I said three last week, so <laughs> it is number two. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Buddy's in here. So we're, Buddy and I are both going to Rose City Comic Con tomorrow. So anybody who's in the Portland area, let me know. FOC Books says, hey, let's push Drip to get that comic channel set up in the Discord. Still not working. I, it's interesting. I've, I've been in the comic channel on the Drip Discord, I think. What, what, what isn't working? All right, no bids on the Spider-Verse number two. All right, is it, uh, I think I'm, I'm on the, I'm the, on the uh, seller drip Discord. Is there a buyer one you're talking about maybe? Or am I, I mean, I'm probably, I'm new, I'm new to the platform, so maybe I'm missing something. Uh, let's run some of the Star Wars I brought to the show. Star Wars always popular, of course. Love these Sprouse variants. These are the 50th anniversary Sprouse variants. Uh, this one, Luke and Leia Force Ghost, have this in near mint condition. Any Clayton Crane? No, I. You know, I've always uh, technically appreciated Clayton Crane. I've never been a massive collector of Clayton Crane, and I, I actually don't know at this point if I have any in my collection at all, even for my PC. No, that's not true. I know I have a Ghost Rider one uh, coming in at one point. Uh, when I try to add the comic category, it won't let me select. So other, oh, wait. So you're talking about add the comic category. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I think, yeah, I think so. That might be the case. Got 400 drips. I guess we had 6,500 drips last time. Let's see if we can get some drips going. That might be it, FOC Books. I'll, I will, uh, if you want to hit me up, like, you know, Instagram or that kind of stuff and maybe explain what's going on. Um, I think there's a, there's a private chat method in uh, drip as well. I can definitely, definitely um, try to get some stuff going for you. Um. Okay, let's go with another book here. And folks, if you do have something, you know, scroll through that shop list. I have everything with photos in there. Let me know what you're into and we can we can run some other stuff for sure. Yeah, dude, please do, FOC. Uh, I want to, you know, maybe I can help or, or uh, raise awareness or, or whatever needs to happen. Uh, let's go with another. How about a key? You guys like keys? Let's go with some keys. This is the first appearance of Red Canary, Dark Crisis number three design variant. These were going for a hot, hot buck or two. Uh, I'm I'm exaggerating. Um, let's see. Interesting. Thought okay, quick ad. Well, you know what? And if if anybody's interested, in that, let me know. For some reason, I didn't carry over from my last show, and I have to like add a photo and stuff, which is going to be somewhat complicated going from phone to PC. 
Um, if you if you want it, I can definitely get it going. But you know, let, let's run stuff that I don't have to waste time setting up. Unless you really want it, let me know and I'll 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 run it. Uh, don't know why that happened. Okay, let's run one of those keys. Let's run Avengers two hundred and sixty. Uh, first cover appearance and origin of Nebula. Sorry, make the ripping sound on the resealable bag there. Uh, this is a newsstand. I do want to point out it's got some damage on the spine. See that right there? Hopefully everybody can see that. Uh, but it's a newsstand. I mean, that's pretty pretty common. And uh, honestly, other than that, it's in, it's in pretty good shape. A little bit of a nick right there. But I mean, that's that's pretty decent. Uh, definitely something you want to get pressed. The press isn't going to help that, but but you know, there's kind of that standard wear on it. Uh, let's get this one run. Five dollars, killer price on that book. Yeah, for sure. With the with the crane, I mean, like, I don't know. The whole thing's weird. Like, I I sort of feel like. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. I hope, hope it doesn't mess with anybody here. Get the lava lamp in there. Why not? Let's have, let's give people some entertainment, right? That's what people want. Um, yeah, the whole thing was weird. All right, no bids on the Avengers. Hey, I'm going to mute my mic for one second. <clears throat> Hang on. Sorry, I had to mute my mic. I think my, my daughter might have been sneaking out of bed, so... <clears throat> Um, yeah, that's funny. I, I got to drink some water here. Hang on. <clears throat> I had a, a line on those acetates, uh, could have got several of them and I just didn't like it. <laughs> um, and I was like, eh, you know, it's going to sell for a decent, and this is before the controversy too. I mean, like the day before it kind of came out and I was like, eh, I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal. You know, I was I knew it was going to go for more than I could have got it for, but I was by the time I was thinking by the time somebody ships it to me, it'll die down and you know it just won't be that big of a deal. Well, I didn't realize, you know, obviously what was going to happen with that book. Um, nobody did, uh, outside of Black Flag. Um, there we go, we have the Frizen lingerie style variant B cover for Catwoman 42. I'm going to start this for $2, 30 seconds on the clock. But yeah, I, I definitely had weird feelings about that. Can I say that April was not help at gunpoint by CC? She went willingly with him. But if I see something he puts out, I'll buy it. It takes two. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't care. I'm not really going to comment on somebody's, you know, any of the three individuals involved in their, their personal lives. Um, mostly my my thoughts on it what i will say is part of me wonders i mean the timing of all this just seems strange um so that's what part of me wonders is if there's not some kind of shenanigans afoot another part of me um doesn't really care what happens to the the owner of black like the uh, jason because I, he didn't really prove to be a good actor in the whole Thing to begin with clayton crane didn't really prove to be you know a good actor the whole thing to begin with i don't know anything about april I, so i don't really like i don't care like i'm somebody who doesn't care about celebrities personal lives when it comes to like real life celebrities uh some people involved in the comic stuff it, i was you know clayton crane i know he was a, a very established big name in the, in the comic industry but i didn't really care like um he wasn't my favorite artist he wasn't even in my top 20 favorite artists 
uh, I didn't, I liked, I respected some of his work. I liked some of his covers, but that's just how I felt. So I don't, I don't really like a lot of people were like, Hey, you're not really commenting on this part of it. I'm like, I, this part of it doesn't, this is all personal life stuff. You know, if, if it crosses over into any, like we have any details of what happened because of it. Sure. Yeah. Then it's, then it's fair game to talk about. FOC books getting a steal this Catwoman 43 to call cover for a dollar. Um, nice, nice win there. Are you looking for DC cards, Marvel cards, football cards, or basketball or Star Wars? What would you like for a bonus card? Uh, your payment failed, FOC. Is what I'm listing. Um, I don't have experience with what happens with a failed payment. Like I know on whatnot, I'm familiar with that and you can, Oh wait, now I have a green mark next to it. Does that mean it went through? Hang on. Uh, product sold. I'm going to, I'm going to assume that you got that and like, if, if something doesn't go through, maybe we can message customer support, but I'm going to assume you got that, okay? Yeah, I, I trust you. It's just weird that it didn't show me, like, all it does is change an icon to green, which I'm guessing that's what it was, but I'm just going to assume it went through. If there's any kind of problems afterwards, we can message about it. Uh, the face of Dark Hawk, the origin of Dark Hawk there from Marvel Universe Series 4. Oh, okay, okay. I got. I just read your PayPal message there. Makes sense. Cool. Well, your your dark hot card is going to be. Uh, it was doing that. Well. Okay. Well, sounds like it all went through. No worries there. Uh, let's do another Star Wars book. Let's go with Star Wars twenty three. Star Wars. Sorry, Star Wars Bounty Hunter twenty three. Another one of those Sprouse uh, 50th anniversary covers. This one with uh, Sith Empire Emperor Palpatine and General Hux. Scroll over to Star Wars here. Yeah, lower the start price. We'll do $3 start price on this. I think it's like less than cover, right? So that should be good still. Well, glad we got it sorted out. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to read a comment from over on YouTube. Uh, Charles, sorry, I was in the other window, so I didn't see that. What? You thought your daughter was sneaking out of bed? You need to get a German Shepherd. They will bark at any unusual noises. Yeah, no, I, I, I actually can't have a dog where I live right now. Um, I'm not allowed. Um, but uh, I've got a, a monitor here in front of me. So I heard like a bump, but I think she just thwacked her leg up against the side of her bed or something. Uh, she's just a little toddler ninja, so... All right. Uh, no takers on the Star Wars. Let's move on to another book. And then we got Sickotron saying Acetate Gate was an inside job. Uh, Sicko, are you are you on Drip? Can you come over here and join the chat over here? Yeah, yeah, dude. My when my daughter was like eight months old, she would double leg kick the bed so hard it would like wake us up. And we, it was so funny. My wife asked our pediatrician about it. She's like, is this normal? And he's like, no, no, that's not normal. <laughs> it was pretty funny. He's a super nice guy too. Uh, I thought it was great. All right. This is star Wars 25. Yes, I did. I did sell that, that copy, uh, to somebody. Um, the, we're new this for $4. This is a, a, a 25th, you know, anniversary issue. It's an anthology, anniversary issue it's, it's i mean it's just like a milestone issue right uh it's got an anthology bunch of stories in it now I, boba fit is not boba fett boba fit is a really 
good expert on Star Wars. He did tell me there was a couple first appearances in here. Uh, I think he submitted that to Key Collector, but they haven't updated it yet. I trust him. He's really intelligent when it comes to this stuff. Um, so we're going to start this for $4. I believe there's a couple first appearances in here. I can't remember the characters' names. Take that with a grain of salt, okay? Like, I'm not going to, you know, blow sunshine. Um, yeah, sorry, Sonia. Yeah, I, I think if anything, it just, I mean, I think she just had energy or strong legs or something like that. Uh, do you have some fire Star Wars cards we can give out if somebody wants to, to get a Star Wars card when they win this? Um, I got the Star Wars Bounty Hunter cards. They're a very nice Tops series. Um, I know there's some leaked footage that just came out of Bo-Katan, uh, Katie Sackhoff's character from Mandalorian and Book of Boba Fett. Uh, some leaked footage just came out. She's coming back for the next season. She was fighting another Mandalorian or something like that on set. Um, all right. No takers on the Star Wars 25. We're going to move on. Um, so I'm probably going to run you know, a few more books here. Like I, I just uh, want to deliver you guys what you want, but I do got to get some ready for Rose City Comic Con. So um, nobody's really speaking up about any of the bigger books. Uh, I'm kind of like, you know, if nobody's going to bid on them, I'm not going to run them and insult you guys with high prices. Uh, if people are interested in them, then I definitely will run them. Um, that kind of thing. That's just how it goes. Let's run Star Wars 26. This is a hot book right now. Somebody's got to be interested in this thing. These were really low ordered. Uh, there's a second print coming. Maybe it'll be... It. Yeah, worthy counterfeit. That's funny. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're they're interesting books for sure. Um, I got to start this closer to FMV, so we'll start it at twelve bucks. I think it's still going for more than that last time I looked. Um, but yeah, twelve dollars. Star Wars twenty six. Let's get that centered there a little bit more. No, oh, the Falcon's kind of hiding too. This is a near mint condition as well. Yeah, the acetate is interesting. I. I you know, some people are like, oh, it's it's a fake book. It's a fake book. It's not a fake book. It's a maybe it's a bootleg book. Maybe it's not an official approved book, which I don't I don't think it was, according to my information from somebody at Marvel before that news even came out. Anyways, um, but it's it's not a fake book, it's just bootleg. Uh Keith, what's up? My drip app won't let me log in right now. Just curious as to what things are going for. Um, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm kind of showing them. Oh, hey, what's up? Sonia picks up the Star Wars 26. Congratulations, Sonia. Would you like a Star Wars card to go with that, Sonia? Um, so that one just went for $12 here on the Drip app. You can also log into a web browser too, Keith. Uh, Keith's commenting over on um, on uh, on YouTube right now. I don't have any way. That'd be interesting. I guess I could like share my no because if i share my screen it'll be a weird feedback loop uh star wars for sure okay hey what's up uh uh knlkkd40 i'm sure that's a generated name i'm sure you're s somebody who has a different name and maybe not but um oh you're cyclotron hey what's up cyclotron welcome to the show uh let's get you i'm trying to look for a, like a slightly okay oh, yeah, ig88 ig88 and that's one of the green ratio cards from the star wars bounty hunter top series right there that's a pretty cool card nice pickup sonia and if anybody is wondering how i do this i know sonia knows um from from last week what i do is i put the card back back behind the comic book and the backing board so it stays away from the comic book but it still gets some of the protection in there uh, occasionally I give out really nice cards and, you know, it's kind of as freebies or, or thank yous or that kind of stuff. When I do that, I usually put it in a penny sleeve top loader kind of situation. Uh, if you see that in the back, you know, I, I keep that away from the other comics so it doesn't rub against them or anything. Um, let's see. What else can we do? Anything kind of fun that we haven't shown yet? Um, let's do... I'm going to run the Sandman Nightman, Nightmare Country again. I wonder if you use OBS, you can show just the chat portion of the YouTube window. Well, I could, but the problem is it would overlap so much of the real estate. Like, So it's a great suggestion. And, and I may, maybe there's better ways to do this. I'm going to try to figure out better ways for all this. This is Sandman Nightmare Country number one. Uh, loved the show. Um, the problem is if you're viewing on the app on Drip, you're only seeing like the the book. You're basically as far as I'm aware, you're seeing like this. 
And if you watch on the browser, you get like the full widescreen window. Um, it's a little confusing. Yeah, for sure, Keith. I hope that works out for you. Uh, I will. I will try to get stuff. You know, more streamlined. Stream, streamlined. Oh, okay, okay. I hadn't done that yet. That's cool. You just turn it. Do you still get to see chat if you turn it? Um, uh, landscape. Cool. That's good to know. That means I need to probably figure out a more fun full screen setup here. Okay, nice. Um, it's weird sometimes. Like that ran, right? I don't even see like a didn't sell kind of a thing on it or zero bids or whatever. Huh. Yeah, Twitch does that too for sure. God, if I, if I start reading chat, I just I lose track of the bids when there's no bids that come through. Sometimes it like makes me think it didn't run. If if I ever put something down, you guys, it didn't run. Let me know. I'll rerun it. <laughs> you know, try I try to like sit here and and be somewhat entertaining and talk to you guys too, uh, but sometimes it's easy to lose track of what's going on. All right, Avengers 53, first appearance of Red Panther. This is a second print. I uh, want you to be aware of that, but it is the first cover appearance of Red Panther. What do you guys think about Black Panther 2 coming out? Trailer looked fun. I, it looks like there's a lot going on to me, but we'll have to see what ends up happening. Uh, we'll do $2 start time on this, 30 seconds on the clock. <clears throat> now this one I see going, and let's see what happens when it ends. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I really like Black Panther 1. Of course, you know, it's just tragic and unavoidable that we lost Chadwick Boseman. Um, I, I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't, you know, but I probably, I think there's a solid chance of that. I tend to agree. All right, we're up to 1,300 drips. Let's keep it going. I'm going to give you guys an air horn, loud sound warning, okay? Some people say that's really loud. Some people think it's, uh, you know, appropriate volume. Uh, when other streamers do it on, on Drip, it doesn't seem too loud to me, but it probably depends on your setup. Okay, yeah, so that ran. Nobody bit on it, but I don't. It's, I, I wish there was a little thing that told me, like, you know, no wins. <laughs> Until Ant-Man. Is Ant-Man... Is Ant-Man part of this phase? I almost thought it was the beginning of the next phase. You're probably right, though. All right, I got to start this a little bit more here. Um, and this is in like low or mid grade, depending on what you value. Bronze Age low, you know, low and mid grade. I totally admit that, but I think this is a cool book. Um, I can't let this go for a song. Let me, I feel like that's not focused. There we go. Uh, Defenders King Size Annual Number One. Now, uh, this is definitely not like I don't want anybody thinking this is high grade. It would supremely benefit from a clean for sure. Um, but even then, you know, a square bound book and you see some spine damage there. But I think it's really cool. Um, I imagine this would go for a decent amount, a couple different formats. So we're going to start it. Oh. I really like to start books lower than this, guys, but I, I just don't see a whole lot of action going on. Um, you know how it is. I hope everybody understands that. We'll start it at 10 bucks. Hopefully that's a good deal for somebody. Yeah, Quantum Mania. I have a feeling that we'll get more Kang in that. Hey, what's up, uh, Triple G619? How's it going? Three seconds left on the Defenders Annual number one, and we will move on to another book. Try to run some of that Bronze Age stuff and see what people want.
Love, love, love this book. I pick this up every time I see it. This is John Burns, Silver Surfer number one. Uh, when it comes to Silver Surfer books, there's a few extremely expensive ones that you can go after. And there's a few little bit more affordable ones. I kind of put this in a little bit more affordable category. Um, but still a fantastic book. Uh, last couple of times I've seen this book sell. This one does have a uh, color breaking spine tick right here. Other than that, this is in pretty good shape. I'm actually going to show that off so you guys see that. I don't want you to take my word for it. has a little bit of a, a spine roll that would press out. I'm trying to highlight that there for you a little bit. Uh, but I mean, the cover is in pretty good shape except for that one. See that? Other than that, it's in really good shape. Um, let's see. Oh, I have this at the front of the list. That's right. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll do. And I'll give you a little more time to look at. If you want to, you know, check this out. Feel free. We'll do one minute on this one. Uh, Fifteen dollars. I, I see this sell between twenty and twenty-five dollars pretty regularly. So, in, in this kind of condition, so I think that's fair. Um, I'm always trying to set fair prices, but it's tough. I always tell people like the more people I have watching, the the lower my prices will go. Um, okay, so I've been saying it, man. We'll change. Nice, nice. Well, I'm sorry you're at work, but hey, thanks for hanging out here. If you're able to watch here, it's probably not all bad. Uh, all we have really gotten are seeds to what can come. Yeah, that's the thing is is this this phase, you know, it's gotten a lot of hate, a lot of criticism, and I understand it um, because we haven't really seen a lot of the whole overarching story. Even the seeds haven't been planted very well, but I almost feel like there's some misdirection going on. Like, like they're trying to make us kind of forget about Kang a little bit in a way. Um, I think it's going to be kind of a... <laughs> to use an MCU reference, I think it's going to be a little bit of an Agatha all along kind of thing. I think when we find out near the end of this phase, phase I believe we'll end up seeing that Kang was kind of pulling some of the strings or a different character like a Mephisto. I hate to make that reference, but somebody like that maybe was was behind some of these things as well. I, I just feel like we're going to see a lot of like, oh my gosh, how did we not see more of that? You know? Okay, no pictures on the Silver Surfer. Yeah, I, there's part of me wonders about that, too. I really think, like, you know, we haven't had we haven't had a movie that I think has been short of No Way Home. We haven't really had a movie that I feel like people have kind of universally rallied behind or, you know, almost universally rallied, rallied behind. Uh, Shang-Chi did pretty well. But I admit, like, when I watched Shang-Chi, I didn't, like, it was entertaining, but I didn't really feel like it had a lot of weight to it. Like it just didn't, it didn't come across as like a big deal to me. Um, all right. I'm going to run some of the big books, give everybody a chance. These, I, I can't go low on the starting prices guys. I have to kind of get, you know, they're going to be lower than what I saw them going for. I, I checked all these big books on eBay earlier. Um, they're going to be lower than that, but I got to be protective of my investments here to a certain extent. Um, so I hope you understand that we're going to do this. This is a limited to a thousand predator. Number one, Raza, uh, exclusive, very hot book, uh, especially with prey coming out and we'll do this $55. That, that is still lower than you're going to find. Uh, plus you get free shipping. So why not? Drips rolling in. Uh, check them over on YouTube. Okay, all good. All right, cool. Eight viewers over there. We appreciate everybody watching over on YouTube. We are streaming live over on Drip if you want to come join the fun. All right, no takers on the Predator. Totally get it. Totally get it. It will be available elsewhere. I don't ever say stuff like that as like a pressure thing. I'm just like, I'm a transparency person. All right. This is a big book. Uh, last sale on this one I saw was $150. However, this one does have a 
color breaking spine tick right there. Other than that, pretty good shape. I mean, it's, you know, that's a pretty big spine tick. It just came that way. Boom. This came directly from Boom. Uh, didn't ship very well. You know, I bought two of these from Boom. Um, unfortunately, this one isn't perfect. Like I said, last sale on a book that was in pretty similar grade is $150. So I'm going to start it lower than that, like much lower than that. Um, but that's where it, that's where it's at. We'll do one minute on this one. I don't want to bait and switch anybody. I want to run all the big books we're talking about, but you know, if those books aren't for you, that's fine. If there's something you do see in the list you want me to run, I'm more than happy to run any of the books that we had available tonight. Uh, instead of the kind of bigger ones, but I don't want people to be like, hey, you never even ran that Grim." Okay, well, we'll run it for sure. And then next up, let's see here. What's another big one that I know people will be curious if we ran or not? Um... The Savage She-Hulk would start at 150, just so you know. The uh, Invincible Iron Man number three, we would start at 75. Um, and we're going to run Harley Quinn SDCC next. Uh, this is, it's kind of easy. It's in a clear backing board, so I can kind of show you the back. Um, I don't want to get fingerprints all over it by taking it out right now. Um, but I do need to show you a little bit of it. I don't like to get fingerprints all over these foil covers. Because then, like, even cleaning it, you know, you got to be careful. Um, but I want to show you, without touching it, too much here. So I'll show you the top half like that. really hard to like, you know, see even, even there, I put a fingerprint on it right at the top. Sorry. That's why I don't like to touch them. This is a very, very mirrored surface. Uh, so that's what it looks like. It's a gorgeous Sozo Mica cover. Um, these were limited to a thousand STCC exclusive hot book, hot book, hot book. Um, I got to start this one at 60. Feel comfortable selling it here. Uh, Somebody could get it for 60 bucks. It's still a steal on this one. Uh, if you pick this up, I'm not doing any CGC or CBCS submissions right now. If you pick this up, send it off. That would be my advice. If something doesn't sell tonight, it'll be in my next show that I'll run uh, probably not not like Friday, Saturday, but next weekend, the weekend after that. Um, and I'll add some more books too. Like I said, I'm going to Rose City Comic Con this weekend, so that'll take up some of my time, but I'll, I'll pick up some stuff to sell, some stuff for the uh, personal collection. Mac knows what's up. $60 for this gorgeous beauty here. I'll send it in the clear backing board too, so you can you can properly appreciate it. Um, uh, Robert, um, probably at some point, I mean, I'm giving this whole drip thing uh, a shot. Since I can simulcast, over to, um, yes, I hear you, bottom tier collector. Uh, since I can simulcast, uh, congratulations, Sin, uh, Max Sin. I almost wanted to call you Sin City. That's a different different person. Sorry, a lot of sin in there. Um, since I can simulcast, I'm kind of I'm I'm all over this. Actually, I think it's really fun. Um, what kind of card would you like? I'm going to give you a couple. Yeah, night. Nice, very nice pull. Very nice pull. Um, you like Marvel, right? Yeah. Okay. Let me give you a couple Marvels. Uh, very appropriate Marvel card right now. Let's do this. It's got that gold foil on it, and it's Abomination, so it's appropriate for a couple of reasons. Gold foil on the the writing there and on the the stamp. So that one will be in there. That was a big win. So let's give you. Oh yeah, yeah. This is yeah. <laughs> no spoilers, but. If you happen to watch the most recent She-Hulk, you might understand this reference. 
no, this character does not appear in the episode, but trust me, it's it's a funny reference if you've seen it. Uh, Blaze, right there for you. All right, that's all I'll say. <laughs> nice, right on, man. Yeah, me too. I, I've been working on completing some of the sets. Uh, so there's a couple cards for you there. That is a nice pickup. Congratulations to you. Absolutely. All right, what else do we need to run that people were looking for? Uh, more DeLorean. Let's do this one in 50. This is killer. I'm a big Adam Hughes fan. Um, so I made sure to order this. Let me get this tape off here. What are you doing, guys, with the tape? Come on. No painter's tape. Tip no painter's tape like a bunch of noobs. All right, this is in near mint plus condition. This is a one in 50 Hellfire Gala number one, Adam Hughes. An Adam Hughes one in 50. Enough said in the, in the immortal words of Stan Lee. Enough said. Um, yeah, duct tape for sure. <laughs> um, Looking for keys. Sure, sure. Uh, so we're going to do this at $40, which I think is a steal on this one. 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, for the keys, I mean, uh, Defenders Annual number one, Avengers 260, which was the Nebula key, Hyperion's first solo, Savage Shield number one, uh, first Titan Hulk. I think we talked about that last week, though. Um, and I know you're mostly a Marvel person, so we're kind of just trying to rattle off the Marvel stuff. The the Riri book, the Invincible Iron Man 3. Um, let's see, what else do I have for keys? Um, zero bids on the Adam Hughes. Okay. Um, this is a key, the Legion of X. Um, first cover appearance. Uh yeah, absolutely, dude, absolutely. And, and I, I saw your message on Discord. I'll check it later, man. Uh, just get, trying to read three chats. So <laughs> it's a little hard. I, I'm sure you understand. Um, have a good night. Uh, final issue of Strange Academy. Uh, Venom 8, which is a Kang appearance in War Star Suit for Venom. Uh, I have first cameo appearance of Black Winter in a Virgin variant. Um... I have Punisher Skull logo. So those are kind of the keys. I, I don't know. Any of that sound good? Uh, Sikotron, are you are you set up? I mean. It, yeah, I've, I think I've shown most of them, but I can definitely try to show some more. Um, are you set up to do bids on here yet, Psychotron? Because I, I have a book I know you were interested in I could run. Um, so there's Defenders Annual number one. First annual featuring the Defenders. There's Avengers 260. That's the first cover appearance in Origin of Nebula. First Spider UK. First Hyperion in his own series. First She-Hulk. Um, first Titan Hulk. First cover appearance of the Bad Batch. Might even be first interior appearance on that one. Uh, Riri, uh, first appearance of her in the red and gold armor, as well as the um, um, first mention of her being called Ironheart. Uh, I'm just doing the keys. This is a first appearance of a couple different, like three different characters. Um, this is the second part of the origin of the Punisher skull. Uh, final issue of Strange Academy. 
uh, I can't remember what they're calling it, Freshman Year, Volume 1. Virgin uh, cover for the cameo appearance of Black Winter. First War Star suit and Kang appearance in Venom. And Sicko, don't worry, that's that's not yours. Uh, I'd start that at two dollars, Sonia. Uh, trying to think what else. Some, I know, and I know you're mostly Marvel. You want to? Do you want to do that one? Oh, and then I do. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd probably do three dollars on the Venom, two dollars on the Strange Academy, and then I have that one too. That's the one that I know you were interested in, Psychotron. Try to get some of the glare off there. No, oh, that actually made it worse. There we go. That's gonna. My hold on, I'm gonna adjust my white balance here. I think it got tricked up. It's a little bit closer to natural. Uh, Strange Academy and the King. Okay, cool. We'll do. Sorry, I just wanted to get that. Well, okay. I feel like that's not. There we go. I don't know. I think my camera like auto did some auto settings while I was uh, not paying attention. Trying to get a little bit closer to natural there. Okay, so you wanted the Strange Academy. We'll do that for $2. No problem for you. Thanks for uh, speaking up on what you'd like. I do appreciate that very much. Makes it more fun when I'm like, okay, I don't want to just run books that nobody's interested in. Uh, we'll do 30 seconds on that. $2 start, Sonia. Uh, Sonia, is, uh, the king in Venom is um, um, Venom 8. Um, uh, Glenn says happy belated birthday thank you very much I really much I very much appreciate that Harley Michael Jackson variant that's funny comment from over on the YouTube all right Sony wins that one and you know the drill what kind of card would you like Marvel I should have known um, this is a fight we might see sooner rather than later. Let's uh, see if I can get that to focus. Daredevil and Typhoid Mary. Sony says, make mine Marvel. I'm a Marvel person too. Any spawn? Yes, I do. Willie, I do have a spawn. Hey, Sony, I'm going to run that, that Venom book real fast. I want to show what I have for spawn uh, for Willie here. Nice, nice. I'm glad to hear it. I want everybody to go home happy with the cards. I try to, you know, keep getting some new stuff. And I have a lot of that Marvel Universe Series 4. It's one of my favorites from when I was a kid. Um, so I just have a bunch of extras for the Marvel. But I am trying to get more different stuff, you know, eventually too. Um, here we go. So, uh, Willie, this is what I have. This is Hell Cop number one, the 1 in 50 sketch variant. Obviously has Spawn on the cover as well. Um, you know, kind of an homage there, but that's a one in 50 Hellcop number one from image comics. And I do have that, uh, up for, for grabs tonight. So let me know you, you think about that for a second. I'm going to run the second requested book that I was uh, asked to run. I'm going to run that. And then we can talk about that. If you'd like, I'm more than happy to run that. Probably going to wind down here pretty soon after that anyway. So why not? Why not? Uh, let's see. I shuffled everything when I was showing off books, which is confusing the crap out of me now, but I'll find it. I don't have too much to go through here. There she blows. Um, I think I could start that for, I want to say 40, but I'll start it for you. I'll start it for 37. How's that sound, Willie? 
This is Venom 8, near mint condition. This is a uh, Kang appearance. You kind of find out that Kang has been doing some stuff behind the scenes in Venom for a while now. Um, also, this is the first appearance of the Warstar symbiote suit. Uh, we said $3 on this one, right? Yeah, so $3 on this one for Sonya. And then we'll get Hellcop going next. Cyclotron's just over there drooling over the Venom and the uh, Lava Lamp. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of people, a lot of people definitely fell off this book uh, earlier in that series. Oh, nice, Willie. That's awesome. Okay, we know that uh, Sony is going to ask for Marvel. I mean, duh. So I'm going to give you... here. You're going to get an upgrade to one of the more expensive card sets I have some cards from. Um, this is the Vision card. Again, you got that kind of gold foil on the front of that. And uh, oh, upside down, sorry. The power ratings are kind of that radial menu kind of thing. That's really cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I appreciate you popping in here and picking up books. I'm glad I was able to run some more stuff you want. Uh, hopefully, your stuff from uh, that I shipped off Tuesday gets there soon. And then this stuff should get, you know, should be sent out. Uh, since I'm going to the con, it's probably going to go out over the weekend. Um, so you'll get that stuff in good order, too. And I, I really appreciate you popping in again, Sonia, uh, and uh, shouting out all the books. Have a good night. Get some rest. Pulling Hellcop. Why did I mess everything up in order? <laughs> that was very dumb of me. There it is. Oh, that's cool. So... One of my first Venom comics that I actually bought um, was uh, Le not Lethal Protector, um, Funeral Pyre number one, that like uh, prismatic kind of cover. So here's the book outside the bag and board. You get a little spine slide, show you the condition real fast. Don't want any, you know, Questions there on what a condition that's in looks good to me. Um, another one I would probably have sent off to get graded if I was doing submissions right now. And like I said, I, I will do it a little bit lower for you than I originally planned on. So here you go. Yes, same, Willie, same. I'm mostly an X-Men guy. I'm going to check YouTube chat real fast. Still got five viewers holding it down over there. I appreciate those watching over on YouTube. All right, eight seconds left on this one in 50 ratio. Three, two, one, and it's gone. Uh, if you need me to run it again, let me know. Let me know. Uh, real fast, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do one quick thing. I'm going to show off the slabs I have for tonight. Apologize for some bag opening. This is the most fire slab I have. This thing is going to go... Uh, it's on consignment right now from a shop in Florida. It's going back there if I don't sell it tonight. But that is Ebass on a... Um, oh, that's what's going on. Ebass on a foil cover. Um, that's a good question, Mac. If anything happens where it didn't go through, uh, message customer support and I can raise a stink on my end too if, if something didn't happen. Um, but this is a 98 CBCS hardly thin e bass. This is number eight of 150, it's limited to 150 copies. This is number eight. This is a comics elite, just love that cover. I'm a big booty fan, uh, literally. Um, so Mac, if, if you have any issues that let me know and I will do whatever I can on my end to take, get, take, get it taken care of, but I'm sure 
their customer support can be the one to help you. I, if it didn't come off immediately, I would kind of wonder what's going on and I would message them. Um, and then in the morning, I can, before I head off to Rose City, if there's any issues that you have left over, I can definitely um, try to uh, try to see what I can do to resolve that on my end as well, okay? All right, so that is one of the buy it nows we have available. I'm just gonna show these off real fast and then I can run a couple more books and then we'll probably get out of here. How about the first John Wick? Yeah, dude, thanks a lot, man. First John Wick in comics in a CGC 9.6. This is the Keanu Reeves photo variant, obviously. Um, you also uh, might want to consider picking this one up if you want to get it signed by Keanu Reeves at some point. Uh, I'm sure that would be really fun. This would probably be the best version to have him sign. I'm not normally a fan of actors signing books, but I do. I am for photo variants. I make two exceptions. I would have Robert Downey Jr. sign the Demon in a Bottle issue, and I would have... Um, uh, Samuel Jackson sign any of the ultimate uh, Nick Fury style Nick Fury covers for sure. Um, and then I, when it's a photo cover, I think it's totally fine. This is David Finch sign. That's Finch's signature right there. Batman 700 in a 9.6. That's also in the buy it now. You can check that out right now. Once again, Batman 700, David Finch signed in a 9.6. Okay, three more slabs to show you, and then we'll run a couple more books and call it a night. Again, all the slabs currently are for sale. You can just buy it straight up. This is also a signed slab, signed by Marat Michaels. This is Snake Eyes Dead Game number one in a CBCS 98 witnessed signature, not verified. So that is a virgin uh, limited exclusive Snake Eyes Dead Game number one in a 98. New stand, first Omega Red. This is a 9-4. 9-4 new stand Omega Red, first appearance. Classic Jim Lee cover. I'm actually going to go uh, get a couple of signatures from Jim Lee on Saturday. Um, unfortunately, I already slabbed all these books, and I don't feel like cracking one to take it down there. Um, I don't. I, that's the one exception I'll make for doing CGC, CBCS submissions right now, is for a signing. I'd prefer to have them slabbed. Um, currently, this is also the first full appearance of King Shark in a 9 6. Uh, so you can pick that up as well. First full appearance of King Shark. His first cameo is in Superboy Zero. It's a very brief cameo. First full appearance uh, and cover appearance of King Shark. And remember, King Shark is a shark. Okie dokie, artichokey. As none of the kids say, uh, we're going to run uh, like two or three more books and call it a night. If you have any questions about any of the books for sale, let me know. This is Thor 7 Virgin uh, Mercado variant. Thor 7 Virgin Mercado variant. Um, one second here. I have to quick add this one. Uh, Arthur, yeah, so, uh, Sorry, a couple of minutes. Well, no, actually, you just you played just that a few minutes ago. Uh, the Riri book, it's Invincible Iron Man number three. It's the first appearance of Riri in the red and gold uh, Iron Man style armor, but it's Iron Heart. It's also uh, the Tony Stark AI suggests using the name Iron Heart. So that's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool deal there. Sorry, I have to add an image for this one real fast. 
takes a second. Okay, there we go. And then let me move my card so I don't knock them over here. Um, 30 seconds. So this is a Virgin Mercado variant. Um, so Arthur, did that answer your questions? And did you ever get over on Drip and get everything working? So I don't know what your name is over there. Just checking. Man, we got fifty five hundred uh, drips coming in. Let's do a little bit of an air horn for that noise warning, just in case you need to turn down your volume a little bit. <laughs> Love it. Thanks so much for all the drips, everybody. All right. No takers on the Thor 7. I keep trying to give them books. <laughs> hey, what's up, Arthur? How's it going? So, yeah, I was going to start that out um, at 75 tonight. Um, if you want it, let me know. I can start it for you. No problem. Um, otherwise, I am probably going to use one of my friends who has a CGC account to submit that because it's in hot shape. Um, let me know. I, I'm more than happy to run it for you, sir. Uh, well, I mean, I just I just ran a null book. Just ran that one. That's Thor 7, Thor and Null cover. Um, Carnage. I don't think I have any Carnage tonight. I definitely have a couple Carnage books. Um, hmm. Hey, Sickotron. I have a book that I'm holding. Somebody's asking for Carnage. Uh, Sean there is asking for Carnage. Sicko. What do you think? Should we put that one up or no? That's it's kind of up to you, dude. Um, but that's that's the only carnage I really have in hand. And then I'll just run this for you, Arthur. Um, yeah, you're, you'd want to press this, but I, I think everything on it's going to press out. And this book is going to go nuclear nuclear um, here pretty soon. So there's a couple spine ticks, but they're, they're non-color breaking. You probably see them when they hit the light there. None of those break color. So you're going to want to press it. But I think I, I never, ever, ever like to guarantee 9-8. Like, I just don't like to do it. Um, but I would submit that and and plan on a nine eight after a press. I, you know, that's just how I view it. Um, so you know what I said. Let's see here. Um, yeah, I could. I mean, I could do that. I, I I'd prefer to wait to run it. I mean, Sean, is that book like something you'd be super into? I'm just trying to give the people what they want, but um, so so Sicko works for a store called Dangerous Waters Comics, and more. Um, you should definitely go check them out. Uh, they're they're a trusted comic book store that I run with, and those comic books were um, um, uh, supplied uh, for like a. Eventually, we're going to do kind of like a charity auction. We we already ran one. And unfortunately, a bunch of books came late. <laughs> so some of them are still going to go into the next charity auction for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, we might run one or two or something like that between now and then. Um, I would probably start that at 20 because you're probably the only person that's going to bid on it with six people in here. Uh, and I'd have to get some permission uh, from the person that sent it to me because I want to make sure that's appropriate. Um, do that one more time in case anybody wants to bite on that. Okay, so yeah, we do it for 20, Sean. If you are so inclined, let me know. 
again, I mean, six people down at 20. Okay, cool. We'll I'll add that next. All right. It'll take me a second. I got to take a photo of it, download the photo. Um, I can't, I have to add a photo so I can't get around that. And I'm, I'm streaming from my computer, which makes it a little bit more complicated. Uh, so if you give me a minute after we run this one again, I can do that. To I'm, I appreciate the uh, patience there, Sean. All right, no tickers on the Riri. I am happy to get that one sent off. Yes, yes, yes. Dangerous Waters Comics, guys. Go check them out. Uh, good store. The cool thing about Dangerous Waters Comics, and I've done some ads for them in the past and stuff. I, I love recommending them. They are a, literally two employee. They're, they're a small operation. Um, and it's not like they have great service, great shipping. Um, but it's not like some of these stores, you know, some of, them, some of these online shops are huge entities. This is still very much like you're supporting like a small business. Okay, more into the null. Okay, for sure. All right, and this is in gorgeous shape. I'm going to give you a spine slide on that. And this is uh, Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage number one. This was an unknown comics exclusive. Yeah, they're they're a great shop. I really can't recommend them enough. And you can use the code. Um, I can't remember if it's Bronze Five or Bronze Ten, um, but you can use one of those codes to save a little bit of money too on your on your books. There, that's that's embarrassing. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. Okay, let me add this guy in now that I have the photo done. It's so funny, tired brain. Okay, we're gonna quick add that. I think I think it's bronze 10, bronze ten as well. Uh, R four. Well, it didn't let you put your information in. I mean, that's Arthur, right? Just making sure I don't. Mix up my my random usernames. Nice. All right. Of all right. Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage. That's so confusing. I mean, if, if I, okay, cool. That's, that's Arthur. Give me one second, Arthur. I'm still trying to get this in for this gentleman and then I will help you out. Uh, thanks for your patience. I appreciate that. Okay. $20, 30 seconds on the clock. Uh, there you go, Sean. Um, yeah, the, uh, so Arthur, here's the thing. Like I, I, I can put it up as a buy it now, but if you don't have your payment info set up, I don't know how you're going to buy it. Um, I could try. I can try that. I mean, I'm, if that helps, I am more than happy to help you. Um, the other problem is, is if somebody else wants to bid on it, it kind of, you know, makes that makes that hard to do. Um, all right, nice win, Sean. Sean, do you want a Marvel card to go with that? Uh, Arthur, I'm, I'm going to keep trying to help you. I just, I'm trying to figure out what the best way to help you would be. That's the, the real question. Um, let's go with one of my, this is one of my favorite kind of Bronze Age characters here. You get a Nova card. You're going to get a Nova card with that. 
congratulations on the win there, Sean. And I appreciate uh, all the help from Dangerous Waters Comics and more on you know getting those books sent out to us. Oh, hell yeah. Very much so. Nice. It has great color on it. And then what I'll do, um, Sicko, just so you know, what I'll do based on that is I will uh, throw in another book for the charity auction at some point um, so we can get that replenished. So... Um, See, trying to get this Riri book to Arthur here. It's proven to be a bit of a challenge. Um, make sure that's focused. Okay, so oh, interesting. Is the I feel like the image is shrunk. Do you guys see black? lines on each end like if you're watching on your phone or something you see black borders on either side of your screen just wondering um so i don't know if i can convert this to a sale okay cool that's just the preview image that i see is really strange um iron man three i'm gonna try this one more time is there a way just to Edit product, uh, fixed price sale. Update. Okay, so now now it's yeah. Okay, so Arthur, I've done this for you. Um, I need to change the quantity on it. I think quantity one. Update. Okay, so now Arthur. Um, It shrinks the... Oh, okay, okay. Gotcha. Um, so in the sale tab, like there's the auctions and you go on the little store icon. I think it should be in the bottom right, I want to say. Um, there should be a sale tab. And let's see if it'll let you buy it that way. I hope this helps you out, Arthur. I, I, um, not sure what else I can do on that. But I'm basically giving you the book because nobody else is going to be able to bid on it or anything like what I mean they, they could buy it I guess. Um, okay, Sean sees it there. Arthur's in. Oh, it looks like Arthur got some info in there as well because it actually says Arthur now. Yeah, you press the little little like uh, yeah the suitcase is a good way to put it like shopping bag suitcase icon. And it should be at the bottom of the list of the for sale items. You can do sale, auction, and we still got to run our giveaway too. And yeah, we will have a giveaway. You guys have really good odds on that. That'll be the last thing we do tonight. What's up, Tito Bandita? Or sorry, Bandito, my bad. Small font on that. Oh, we're over here on uh, YouTube checking in. Tell me about Riri again. And then Norrin Rad says, yeah, borders. Norrin Rad, hey, are you over here on Drip yet? We need to get you over here, man. I can get your referral code, and you can make some money. I can make some money. Plus, you can sell some stuff and make some money. Uh, you're a great seller, so you should come over here if you want. That's up to you. Cool. I'll, hit me up via DM, dude. I'll, I'll get you. I'll get you on. All right, Arthur. So, did you see, do you see the item? Let's let's go step by step here. Did you uh, find the suitcase and do you see the item? Yes. No. For me, on the app, once I see the item, there is a blue button next to it that says "Buy Now." Arthur picked it up. Hey, excellent. We got it working, guys. Um, Arthur, would you like a Marvel card to go with that? 
<laughs> I feel like we just accomplished something. <laughs> I'm going to give you a couple of cards. You want Marvel, Star Wars? Yeah. And the immortal words of Tenacious D, that's fucking teamwork. Uh, so, Arthur, your choices are uh, Marvel, NFL, Star Wars, Fortnite, and they're free cards. They're just freebies I throw in. I have a like a Prism basketball card I could give you, too. Uh, Marvel and a Star Wars. Cool. Uh, do you like Captain America or Ghost Rider? But that's up to him, man. Ghost Rider. Okay, so you're going to get the uh, Ghost Rider card. Pretty cool card there. And then for a Star Wars card, let's get you something fun. Picked up a nice book. Why not? Um, let's find a good one then we'll we'll do that giveaway uh next everybody take a light a last little lap through the store if there's anything you'd like me to run let me know please um because i'm going to wrap up here very soon otherwise Do oh, there's you can't argue with that. Everybody loves R2D2, right? Look at that tops uh, Star Wars bounty hunter R2D2 R2D2 card. That is those are very nice, very glossy cards, too. It's a sweet win there. Uh, I do not do pressing, I have a pressing partner. Um, that I use called Turlock Comics. You can find them on Instagram. Um, Turlock Comics is based in Turlock, California. And you can ship them. The pressing on that. And I actually, uh, if you mention my name, you can do uh, clean and press for $18. Any book you want to send them. Um, and that is a good way to get that done. And they also do CGC and CBCS and EGS submissions. Uh, that's obviously extra on top of that based on, on what those, those fees are. Um, I think they're very, very, very affordable on it, though. Um, so, yeah, go check that out. And if you yeah, make sure you mention my name if you DM them. Find them on IG is the easiest way. Find them on Instagram and then go ahead and um, just let them know, like, through a DM that I sent you over there. That'll be your, your best bet. Okay, let's do a giveaway again. Unless anybody says there's anything they want me to run, I'm more than happy to do that. I need my, I need that card. My birthday is Star Wars Day. Hey, nine E K nine four U O U zero sounds like a Star Wars droid name. A uh, really complicated one. What 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 should I call you? What's your name? Or what name do you prefer to be called? Let's put it that way. Uh. Uh, Callie, sorry, that's that. It's weird. The A's and O's look alike to me on this font. Um, cat, cool. Um, so you haven't picked up anything. Is there anything if you want to go for like any of the cheaper books I have? I will a hundred percent, um, uh, send you a couple Star Wars cards to go with it. Uh, yeah, let me let me make a note about that, Arthur. So yeah, uh, let me know, Callie, if there's any books you want to, I mean, you know, you see any of the stuff that's like a newer book, I can run it for cover price or whatever. And tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll do, I have some Rogue One cards. I have some uh, Tops Bounty Hunters. I'll throw in a few cards for you. You know, it's just one cool one and some filler ones or something like that if you want. And then Arthur, that should ship out over the weekend. I'm going to Rose City Comic Con, so it'll it'll probably go out like 
probably be in the mail like Sunday or something like that. Should head out Monday morning, I bet. Give you a timetable on that. And don't worry, I'll pack that in a top loader for you, okay? No worries there. So if you want to do that, Callie, let me know. I'm going to run this giveaway um, and let you give you a chance to look through stuff. And if you want some Star Wars cards, I'm more than happy to send them out. And most of these are like freebies for me that I just give out anyway, so I'm cool with it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, new to Drip, I have no clue how to search your shop, but I can... So there's a little store icon, like a little um, grocery cart, or a grocery bag kind of icon in the bottom right, For mo depending on what, what platform you're on. And that shows you all the items I have available. And that's pretty much the easiest way to see what I have going on. And I'm more than happy to run anything. I can also, if you tell me if you're into like certain characters or certain books, I can find something for to run. That's easy as that. Uh, we're going to do a giveaway now. And uh, I should have a 54. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 54 items. Exactly. Like a little red, probably like a little red bubble that says 54. Thanks, Sean. All right, so we're going to do this as a giveaway. Oh, snap. I still don't have the button for that. Oh, they said that'd be fixed. Uh, let me see if I can run it from my phone. Damn it. Hang on, I gotta take a screenshot of this because I was talking to a couple uh, team members from Drip today about this. It's really annoying me that I can't run giveaways. It's really cramping my style. Uh, I wanna be able to give away a couple books a stream. That wrong, wrong keyboard shortcut. So I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. And convince them that, hey, I don't have the button to actually run a freaking giveaway. Um, that's going to really irritate me. Okay, if I have that screenshot, that'll hopefully help me get them to figure it out. Uh, let me go to manage products and see if I can hopefully get this thing. Auction, fixed price. Giveaway. As a fixed price giveaway, you have to have a value. Inventory one. Is that what was happening? Um, inventory product addict successfully update stream already sold. Yeah, it, it is a nice one. I'm this is funny. I did a thing called Cover Wars on my Instagram page where I was having people pick between this and a Raza new think, which is kind of like a Marilyn Monroe homage cover. I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, that's so, that's so annoying guys. I don't, Search immortal. Search Emma. Um. Okay, let me see if I can add it now and if it'll work. Uh. Giveaway, four dollar value. Wait, 
all the stuff I got to fill out here. Um, I'm, uh, give away. Might still be able to figure this out. Okay, create, update stream. Still, still don't have the button to do it. Oh, I actually lost all the items. Yeah, the uh, the new thing cover is pretty cool. I wish I had a copy set next to me. I picked up a few of them, but. Well, guys, I'm sorry. The, the giveaway thing still isn't working. I'll be in contact again with the Drip team about fixing that. I um, appreciate the patience as I was trying to figure it out. It's really unfortunate, um, but we will figure it out eventually. And once we do, we'll have some giveaways built up that we can do in, in a big stream. I'll try to advertise that for you guys. Um, for now, I'm going to sign off and start getting ready for Rose City Comic Con. Orders will get packed up over the weekend and go out Monday morning. Um, if you have any questions, any concerns, always hit me up, and I'm more than happy to help you out. Uh, and everybody, enjoy your books. Have a fantastic weekend coming up. And yeah, I know it, it went away. It's it's really weird, um, sicko. I, I don't understand what happened there. But uh, I am going to sign off for the night. Hope everybody has a great one.